Okay, welcome back guys to another video from CXC Mad Tutor. So in this video, we'll be looking at the Regents Geometry um, June 2019 past paper. And we'll be looking at question 34. So question 34 from the Regents Common Core um, Geometry June 2019 past paper. All right, so um, Nick wanted to wanted to determine the length of one blade of the um, windmill pictured below. All right? So the length of a blade here. Okay. Um, he stood at a point on the ground um, 440 feet from the mills, um, the windmill's base. All right. So he's, this is the base of the wind, the the windmill right here, and he stands somewhere out here, which is 440 feet from the base of the windmill. That's what that's saying there. All right. And so, um, so the, the surveyors, um, using surveyors tool, um, Nick measured the angle between the ground, all right, the ground, and the highest point reached by the top of the blade. All right, and found it was 38.8 degrees. So from here to here, all right, so this angle here, all right, because this is the line that takes you to the top of the blade there, is 38.8 degrees, all right? And, um, and he also measured the angle between the ground and the lowest point of the top blade. All right, so this is from here to here, right? this angle right here on the ground, right, to there. Um, that's uh, measured at 30 degrees, right? and found it was 30 degrees. All right, so the question is now asking, determine and state a blade's length X to the, the nearest foot, all right? <coughs> all right sorry. Okay, so um, this is what we're trying to find here, this length here, x, okay? So looking at this, as you can see that this is a right angle triangle here, all right? And so if we consider, for example, the bigger triangle, uh, this big one here, and that, form with the 38.8 degrees angle. So we can calculate the entire um, length there, let's call it W, all right? all right? So if we can find the entire length from the top of the blade to the ground, all right? And if we can also find the length from the bottom of the blade to the ground, all right, let's call that, um, you know, Z, all right? Then we can take W, the length of W minus the length of Z, that will give us the length of X. That's what, that's what this is what we want, a length of a blade, all right? So, here we can use um, so-called toe trigonometry, all right? So, if we take, for example, calculate the length of W first, then that corresponds to the 38 degrees, 38.8 degrees angle, all right? Then that will be um, tan of 38.8 um, degrees is equal to the opposite, which is W, divided by the adjacent, which is the 440 feet, all right? So if you cross multiply here, then W is equal to 440 multiplied by tan, multiplied by tan of 38.8, all right? So put this in the calculator. So 38.8 tan multiplied by 440, I'm getting 353 point um, seven seven, all right? 
And now if I calculate the length of Z, right, that corresponds to the 30 degrees angle, right? This angle here, the smaller right angle triangle. All right, so, um, so that will be tan again, tan of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is Z, divided by um, the adjacent, which is 440. Because remember, tor or tan is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Adjacent. Okay? So tan of the angle is equal to opposite divided by the adjacent. All right? So if we cross multiply here, Z is now equal to 440 multiplied by tan of 30 degrees. All right, so let's put this on my calculator. So 30 degrees tan multiplied by 440, that's gonna give me 254, right? So as I said before, the length of the blade X that we're trying to find, so X, is going to equal to the length of W minus the length of Z. All right. The length of W we get was 253.77 minus the length of Z, uh, which is 254. All right. So you put this in the calculator. And you should get 99.7. Um, 0.73, but I believe the answer wanted to your to the nearest foot. All right, so the answer would be a hundred, approximately one hundred um, feet. All right, so that's your answer. Hundred feet. All right, so that's it for this question. Question thirty-four. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the video, and also consider clicking the notification button so that you can be notified of uh, future videos, all right? Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.